In the Wesley Hatzel trial today, we learn more about his behavior right after his stepdaughter, AJ, disappeared in 2015. Wesley Hatzel is accused of killing the 18-year-old. Today, we heard testimony from officers who investigated the case. Allie Weatherton has the latest from the courtroom. Testimony today mainly focused on the disappearance of AJ Hatzel back in 2015. Two Norfolk police investigators talked about Wesley Hatzel and said he acted extremely calm and had no emotion while interviewing. Jurors heard testimony from several people. A cadaver dog trainer said her dog Sam smelled human remains in Wesley Hatzel's hotel room and in a blue minivan, but we don't know who owned that van. A Norfolk police sergeant David LaFleur said Hatzel laid on AJ's bed during an interview and changed his story several times. He also said Hatzel referred to AJ in the past tense. Another Norfolk police investigator, David Shum, said every time he tried to talk to AJ's mom, Jennifer Hatzel would interrupt and talk over her. Hatzel's attorney, James Ellenson, disputes the testimony we've heard today. Honestly, I think LaForce testimony, that's why people wear body cameras. That's why you, um, you know, record interviews because the memory, his, his assertions about this, I, I just don't think they're very accurate at all. Prosecutors plan to call several more witnesses, including AJ's mom, Jennifer Hatzel. That is expected to happen on Friday. In Southampton County, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. Hatzel's attorney said this trial is moving faster than expected. He believes all of the evidence in the case could be presented by the end of the week.